ever played a game that got out of hand? Sometimes a game can stop being fun or even hurt someone's feelings. One time, Diesel played a trick on Paxton by getting all the Diesels to hide from him. Paxton was very upset and thought all the Diesels had left the island. Another time, I was racing with Max and Monty. It was good fun, until they took the game too far. They raced over the railway line and could have caused an accident. Bill and Ben thought their game of Hunt the Truck was very funny, until they were the ones who couldn't find their truck. Edward was trying to teach them that it's not a good game unless everyone who's playing can enjoy it. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. Ever wish you could do things that your friends can do? I know I do. Sometimes I feel it's not fair that I can't do everything. Once, Bill and Ben teased Harvey about his crane and made him feel like a very funny looking engine. But Harvey was soon reminded how good it was to have a crane after all. It meant he could do something very useful indeed. Rebecca couldn't think of anything that made her special until she stopped comparing herself to the other engines and realized she does something very important. Rebecca sees the best in everyone. And that makes everyone feel good and want to do their best. Just think how great things would be if we were all a little bit more like Rebecca. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> get scared. Sometimes when I get scared, I imagine all sorts of things. One time, Marion saw some dinosaurs and got very frightened. She thought they were chasing her. But then she found out they weren't real dinosaurs and she wasn't afraid anymore. I also got scared when I thought I was going to see a real dragon in China. And I was really afraid. But it turned out to be something fun. It was just people dancing and carrying a big puppet dragon. And I loved it. Sometimes I get scared of things I don't need to be scared of. So next time you feel scared about something, talk to someone. And maybe it won't be so scary after all. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> Learning new things is fun, but sometimes we all need a little bit of help to understand something new. When Dowager Hat tried to run the railway, she kept on making mistakes and caused a lot of confusion and delay before Emily helped her learn which engines were the right ones for each job. Nia didn't know how to read numbers, so Annie and Clarabelle taught her. Nia is a very clever engine and she learned very quickly. Sometimes everybody needs help and everybody should be given the chance to learn new things. Maybe you'll learn something new today too. It could be reading or singing or learning about numbers or even how to move a cow when she's blocking the line. <laughs> Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> When Rebecca came to Sodor, she worried that the others were better than she was. Rebecca tried very hard to do her best, 
but I know that sometimes when I try too hard, I make mistakes. When I first came to Sodor, I left the station before I was coupled up to my coaches. <laughs> and when Rebecca came to Sodor, she kept leaving earlier than she was supposed to. And soon, she was so early that passengers were missing their trains, and she was getting in the way. And that was a mistake. Being too early was not so useful after all. But it's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes them. That's how you learn to do things better. Just like I did. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> Have you ever played a game where you pretend something is real when it isn't? I like to use my imagination to pretend, but sometimes it's hard to know what is really true. One time, I imagined I had wings like an aeroplane so I could fly. But it was only pretend. I didn't really have wings. Merlin thinks that he can make himself disappear. But he can't really make himself invisible. It's only pretend. Sometimes it's important to know what's real and what's pretend. But playing make-believe games can still be fun. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. to help an animal. Back on Sodor, my friends have often helped animals in need. Like when Philip had to stop Gordon because the sheep were in danger on the line. Or when Diesel helped a family of ducklings get back to their pond. In the rainforest, I wasn't very sensitive to the animals at first. I kept forgetting not to be too noisy and to move around carefully. But when the bushfire started, I helped to rescue them. I learned that animals should be protected and respected. After all, they share our home here on planet Earth. So if you're a duckling, a sheep, or a funny little bear, I mean a koala, <laughs> don't worry. I'll always keep a place for you on my coaches. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs> Sometimes we throw things away that can still be really useful. Reg loves finding ways of reusing old scrap. One year, he even made himself a Christmas tree from scrap. And Duck is good at reusing things too. When the school at Harwick was damaged in a storm, Duck went looking for a coach to take the children to another school. He found poor Dexter abandoned on a siding. It was Doug's idea to turn the old coach into a classroom, which meant Dexter was really useful again. So before you decide to throw something away, stop and ask yourself, what would Reg do? And see if it could be repaired, recycled, or reused. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. to show off what you can do, but too much showing off can get you into a lot of trouble. Spencer was so busy showing off to a very important passenger 
that he ended up taking him to the clay pits instead of Knapford. James thought it was very important which colour he was painted, but no matter what colour he was, he couldn't stop showing off, even in his dreams. In the end, James realised that he had to stop showing off if he didn't want to have another crash. Sometimes showing off makes you forget to be careful, and that can cause lots of problems. Come on, Thomas! It's time to go. See you next time. <laughs>